Yeah, wait a minute. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Adora Salido here. And um, today I'm gonna to be doing a really quick Q&A video because I put up on my Instagram story asking you guys to ask me any questions about whatever. It could be fashion, music, literally whatever. Um, yeah, so I got a couple of questions and I'm going to answer as many of them as possible. Um, I might be skipping a few just because some of the questions are a bit weird. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna skip those ones, but I will try to get to as many as possible and yeah. I took a screenshot of all the questions and I'm just going to try and answer them. Um, I'm trying to go in order. I was trying to group them, but yeah, I'm just gonna go in order and we'll see how that goes. First question, what makes you happy? Hmm, I would say my three things that I love are probably family, bags, and co mm, coffee. Yeah, I think those three things can make me happy. Like if I'm in a bad mood, that's how I'm like taking it. Like my family, you know, a new bag and <laughs> yeah, coffee. Best movie so far. Oh, that's a hard one. Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> My favorite film of all time is Lion King. Like, I'm such a huge Disney fan. I've watched all the Disney movies, and yeah, Lion King is definitely, definitely my favorite. Where do you feel most at peace? <laughs> Probably in the shower. Like, there's something calming about, like, you know, water and water running, and just kind of feeling, I don't know at peace like if I'm stressed or I'm tired or whatever I will literally just have a shower your skin looks really good what's your skincare routine like oh thanks um I think I keep my skincare routine pretty like basic um I've got sensitive skin so if I kind of switch up really quickly um yeah I will break out and things like that so I tend not to experiment too much I would usually start with, I just have usually to stick to the cleanse, toner, moisturizer, and always, always sunscreen in summer, in winter, whatever, always sunscreen. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I can share like more products and details and things like that, but that's for another video. Five things we don't know about you. Hmm. Five things you don't know about me. Oh, I think one that a lot of people, um, especially Nigerians, are surprised by is that I do know how to speak my language and I do understand it fluently. Um, another one is, number two is I actually really like maths um, and I'm very numbers orientated. So I think a lot of people assume that because I like fashion and things like that, I don't like maths, but the two are possible. I like fashion and I like maths. Num number three that people don't know about me is I'm very flexible like I'm double jointed so I can dislocate my arm um it's actually really gross but yeah <laughs> four is that I wanted to be a priest when I was a kid like a catholic priest um I don't know there's something about their robe and like when they walk in everyone stands up and they kind of like walk up that I don't know I really liked that when I was a kid so yeah, I wanted to be a priest, but then um, someone told me that I couldn't be because I was female. So yeah, that kind of shattered that dream pretty quickly, but fun fact for you. <laughs> and number five, uh, I'm the second child of six. So I've got three sisters and two brothers. And I'm the second child, first order though. Favorite book? My favorite book is Half of a Yellow Sun by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. And it is, besides being like the most amazing, well-written book, it was one of those books that kind of introduced me to a lot of things I didn't know about my culture and like the history and the war. Like my grandfather or like my dad would, you know, mention the war, but I didn't really know much about it until I read the book. And then it made me want to research and learn a lot more about it. So yeah, I really enjoyed the book because it sort of opened me up and introduced me to a lot of things that I probably would never have thought about. But yeah, and she's my favorite author as well. Like I've been obsessed with her since I was like 14. Yeah. If you could be an animal, what animal would you be? 
a panther like i love the grace and the um i just love the way cats look in general and like how much grace they have so i'd be a cat but then i'd want to be a panther specifically just because they just look amazing anyone in the world who would you be hmm i don't think i would trade places with anyone but maybe for like a day or a week and i would trade places with beyonce like i feel like who wouldn't yeah that'd be amazing to kind of see her world for a day or like a week and then sort of switch back another person i'd love to like get into the mind of and like into their world is hillary clinton i don't know there's something about her i'm just always like curious about her and what she does but yeah those two very different experiences but yeah what would you rather lick your foot or lick someone else's foot what <laughs> um obviously my foot like ew i can't uh, yeah no i'd never lick someone else's i can't think of anything worse okay that is it for the questions if i didn't get to yours i will hopefully do a part two very very soon so keep a lookout on my instagram story for that and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me a little bit more thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye